So today marks the 500 year anniversary of when Martin Luther nailed his 95 theses on the castle door in Wittenberg, Germany. And um, what Martin discovered uh, when he read the scriptures was that we don't have to do anything for our salvation, that we don't have to work it out, that we don't have to um, pay penance, that we don't have to um, count on somebody else uh, to intercede for us, that we can come to God through Jesus Christ. And it was through this book, God's Holy Word, Living and Powerful, that he discovered uh, that we are saved through grace and that nothing that we do can save us. That is a gift and that is a beautiful, beautiful truth that I think we so often forget. We think that we need to do something to earn our salvation, but we don't have to do anything. We have been saved through grace um, and that not of ourselves, it is a gift of God. I was thinking about um, all the great men who gave their lives, were burned at the stake so that we could have the opportunity to have this truth in our hands. They gave their lives for God's word. And there are so many of us who have God's word in our homes, maybe sitting beside our beds, and it has dust on it. I hope and I want to encourage you today, my prayer for you and for me, is that we will dig deep in God's Word, that you will pray, that you will read, that you will study, and that you will let it speak to you and that it will let it transform your heart and your life. Um, because when you read the words that are written in this book, your life will be transformed when you understand the great love that Jesus has for you and that he wants you to come into a life abundant. And there are so many, many beautiful truths in this book. This, I have had this Bible since I was 10 years old. It was a gift from one of my teachers in elementary school. And it is the only possession that I own that is irreplaceable. This book is loved and used. I pray today that as you think about what Martin Luther did and all the great reformers, that you will also pray for a reformation in your own heart. That's what I'm praying for in mine, that um, the Protestant Reformation is not over, that it's something that's still happening in our hearts. And so I hope that God will uh, transform your heart and your life and that you will step into a life more abundant so blessings today friends and i hope you have a wonderful week i miss you